The DeJounte Murray presser has just ended, and what an impressive first day from DeJounte Murray. We're going to talk about it right now. Presented by the Scott Vicknair Injury Law Firm. So DeJounte Murray was introduced to the Pelicans today. David Griffin, Willie Green alongside DeJounte Murray. And um, first thoughts is I'm, I'm impressed. I know it was a press press conference, right? Uh, but I already love what he's saying. Uh, this team is shit. This franchise, since Chris Paul's left, uh, has never really had a, a leader. Today I saw a leader. I saw a guy that understands what the goal is, what we want to do and how to get there. Right. And so um, first and foremost, I thought it was impressive that Zion was at the press conference today. I'm just going through my notes. So you're going to see me look down a lot. Uh, Zion Williams was at the press conference today. DeJounte Murray talked a lot about Zion Williams and how he can push him, how he can make him better, how Zion can make him better. Um, and even talks about, you know, if I'm not working hard, well then why will Zion Williamson work hard? And so, I just love some of the leadership qualities that DeJounte showed today, just in a press conference. Um, he uh, So basically Griffin leads off and talks about how Rich Paul came up to him at one of the circuits and said that you need to go get DeJounte Murray. And Griffin, you know, jokingly said, we tried to get him at the all-star break, or I'm sorry, at the trade deadline. And then, uh, you know, a couple weeks later, they, uh, they land DeJounte Murray. So Griff's obviously really happy about getting DeJounte Murray. Um, but just a couple of things uh, that DeJounte said. So uh, he he watched New Orleans play over the last couple of years, says that they competed very hard. It's a brotherhood, said all the right things. Um, and then basically said this is an environment he wanted to be in. Um, you know, he displayed a lot of leadership qualities, as I said before. He says he's the hardest worker in the building. He wants to compete. He, he, he must have mentioned competing throughout the press conference 20 or 25 times. So you know going in, like, this dude's going to compete. And if you're seeing DeJounte Murray going 110%, what do you think Trey Murphy's going to do? And what do you think Herb Jones is going to do? And wh what do you think Zion's going to do? You're going to be able to, have to match his level of intensity. And he talks about there's no wasted days. Every practice is important. Every game's important. And it's something that this team's desperately missed for years. So I'm really excited about DeJounte Murray's leadership uh, qualities. You know, he talks about um, Zion, right? They, there's a question about Zion Williamson. His first response is, that's our superstar. This is a guy that understands who the guy is. DeJounte knows that Zion's the guy. Um, and I think that was very important that he said that. He's not coming in thinking that this is his team. He knows this is Zion's team or whoever, maybe even Brandon's team. I don't know. He, But he literally said, that's our superstar. So he knows that Zion Williamson's the guy. I'm really excited to watch these two work because – he also mentions that he's excited to push Zion Williamson. We know what Zion Williamson is. We, we, we've seen like kind of like what he can be. We know how great he could be. He needs that extra push. And really, to be honest with you guys, like there was no really nobody really in the building pushing him to be the greatest that Zion can be. I think DeJounte Murray can do that. I personally think that DeJounte Murray can get Zion Williamson to superstar level basketball for for a, a long period of time we've seen it in spurts we've seen it for a month we've seen it for two months i think dejounte for an entire year and hopefully for the next couple of years that dejounte murray can push zion williamson to get to that superstar level uh so i was really excited that he said that multiple times he said i'm a leader i'm a natural born leader is what he kept saying i'm a natural born leader and he talks about his film work his prep work his practice routines his his you know, pre-game, his post-game, how he eats, how he trains, how he gets treatment, all that stuff. Like, the dude's a professional. Also, he's got a little bit of asshole in him. Pause. But he does. And that's what I thats what I really like about DeJounte Murray. Like, he's got a little bit of chip on his shoulder. Like, he, he talks a little shit. Like, there's a little there's a little something to him. And I, I, I like that. The Pelicans have definitely missed that for a long time. DeJounte's a point guard, a leader. And he's kind of an asshole, and I like that. In a, in a basketball player, he plays a little chip on his shoulder. He plays a little bit of an attitude. You know, he wears his emotions on his sleeve. He, he's going to let you know, like, hey, if we're not playing to a certain standard, I'm going to let you know. I love that about DeJounte Murray. Uh, he talks about going and attending summer league and supporting the, the younger guys. Once again, another leadership quality. Talks about how I'm going to be at summer league, talking to the young guys, going out to dinners, trying to build team chemistry, all that stuff. That's leadership qualities right there. I know obviously Vegas is 
the first week or so. A lot of people go out there, but he's excited to get out there to meet the rest of the coaching staff, to meet the rest of the young players. I think it's a big deal that DeJounte Murray is going to make it or spend some more time in Las Vegas. Um, let's get to the Herb Jones thing. So he talks about how the Herb Jones, he, goes, he, he shouted out Herb Jones um, and uh, talks about the jersey swap. So DeJounte reached out to Herb uh, when he got traded and ne- didn't necessarily bring it up, but Herb was like, do you, Herb wasn't tied to number five. He didn't really necessarily care because all Herb Jones wants to do is hoop, play basketball, and fish. Um, I'm sorry, hoop and win basketball games and fish. And uh, Herb was like, yeah, I'll give you number five. And like, didn't even request any money or anything like that. And then what I love about DeJounte is DeJounte goes, no, I'm taking care of him. I don't like, he didn't give me a money amount or what he needed in exchange, but he's going to take care of Herb Jones. Once again, leadership quality. So I thought that was pretty cool of Herb. I mean, we've we all know her he doesn't he doesn't care about numbers he cares about winning so one really shocked that herb jones gave him the number but really cool to see Dejounte murray say that nah i'm gonna take care of you um another thing i thought that was interesting about the herb jones thing talks about how's all nba defensive team Dejounte says he wants to be on the same list of herb jones on the first team all nba defense we keep forgetting this Dejounte murray is a good defender you didn't see it really in atlanta but if you're going to pair Herb Jones and DeJounte Murray, and he's talking about already day one, I want to be first team all at NBA defense with Herb Jones. And he follows up on that man, Herb and DeJounte are going to give backcourts absolute hell because he talks about, you know, he even mentions I'm going to fight Herb every single night and who I want to guard the best player. I want to guard the best player. You know, usually Herb Jones guards the best player. Well, DeJounte now wants to guard the best player. You get two of those guys with that type of attitude and that type of mentality. That type of just, you know, wanting to just, I'm going to play defense. Like, what do you think that does for the rest of the roster, right? What do you think that does for Zion Williamson? We think that does for Trey Murphy. We think that does for Jordan Hawkins. The list goes on and on. If these two guys can be your leaders and, and, and set examples and standards on the first day, those guys will fall in line. And I, I keep saying this, like, Herb's kind of a quiet guy, but he, he he's like really our leader. DeJounte is not a quiet guy and is a leader. So those two together working defensively in a backcourt, um, I really think they can give backcourts hell. Uh, so that that was really cool to hear um, him say, I want to be first in all defense. He does mention about Brandon Ingram and how they talked before the trade. Um, you know, it was kind of like just light back and forth. Brandon was like, are you getting traded? John's like, I don't know. And then like four hours later, he says he got traded. So uh, they have talked. I, they They go way back. So. There's a relationship there. Not really much was said about Brandon Ingram. I know Willie Green mentioned BI like a couple times today about how, you know, making all the pieces work. So I'm interested on that end because obviously Brandon Ingram has been in a lot of trade rumors. So I don't know how that's going to go. He also mentions that Jose and Trey have reached out to DeJounte Murray as well. So he's talked to Jose, Trey, Brandon, obviously Zion, who was there today. Um, and you know, that's really it. I, I was, yeah, it's a presser. I mean, actions speak louder than words, but for your first day for a team that's been dying for a leader, I thought DeJounte Murray absolutely crushed it. I'm excited. I think that he's the exact piece his team needed besides the center. If they can figure out the center position, I really like this team. I do. I don't know what route they take to get a center. I know it's not a big deal, but like I keep saying Walker Kessler. I just, I, I find it hard and we're going to talk about it more in the next couple of days, but like, who's your starting five, who goes to the bench? Cause one of, or two of Trey Herb and CJ are coming off the bench. Cause DeJounte's a starter, Zion's a starter. And if Brandon's here, he's a starter. You have two spots to fill a center role and then, Herb, Trey, CJ. Like, I don't know what you're going to do there. So it's going to be quite interesting, man. Like, it's going to be an interesting offseason. All I know, though, is what DeJounte Murray did today is exactly what I wanted to hear, and he absolutely crushed it. So welcome, DeJounte Murray, to New Orleans. I'm excited to see what he can do with Zion Williamson. Last thing I actually do want to mention that. Uh, someone asked, I think it was Schmidt that asked the question, what is a, uh, what is a Zion um, DeJounte Murray pick and roll going to look like? I think Willie Green was like, it's going to be trouble. Uh, he said something along those lines, like it's going to be trouble and um, basically saying it's going to be trouble for opposing teams. So uh, I'm excited to see what that looks like. And I actually have this clip from 
the pressure today of DeJounte Murray on Zion Williams? That's, that's our superstar. Uh, and I'm excited to push him. I told him I'm going to push him. And this goes back before I was joining the team. You know, we exchanged numbers and had conversations, and it was never about, oh, come to New Orleans or this or that. You know, he was somebody who reached out and he wanted to learn certain things. And you want that from somebody that's young that think, you know, they don't know everything and they're willing to be a sponge. That just shows who he is as a person and how much he wants it. And when I say that, how much he wants to win and be great as an individual, but also for his team. So, you know, I'm just excited. Yeah. I'm really excited for the DeJounte, Mur the DeJounte Murray Zion Williamson two-man game. Like, comment, subscribe. Love to hear your thoughts on DeJounte Murray's first day as New Orleans Pelican. See y'all later.